Jace Tunnel here. Look what I'm walking up on. Can you see this? It looks like a life raft. And I have not looked at this yet, and it does not appear that anybody has been around here. Just me and my bicycle. The good thing is, is there's nobody in it. Approved US Coast Guard, High Transport Canada. I doubt they came from Canada, huh? Four person, supposed to be able to fit in here. Now look at this stuff. Life ring with rope. Uh, somebody probably knows what that is. Looks like a flashlight maybe. Instructions, probably for bailing water. Uh, training video. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna be using that. And then this is a, a um, what is the drift anchor? A couple drift anchors, paddle, uh, a pump. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody was using this i guess this is maybe for air um, a light so that it can be seen wow how crazy let me put this down here so you can kind of see maybe what it would look like how big it is to a person this big that doesn't seem very big to me and as far as weight, <laughs> no. Okay, nobody's picking that up. Wow. Man, I hope everybody was okay that was in that thing. That's pretty crazy. Let's see if we can open. What's that say? Christian G, Port Lavaca, Texas. Mm, okay, well, maybe we'll call the Coast Guard on that one. Well, okay, thought you'd be interested. You know, never know what you're going to find when you're beachcombing, especially right when the sun's coming up. But uh, this is the first time I've seen one of these uh, life rafts that looks like this. I found a lot of life rafts, but that's the first one that is like this pod looking thing. So maybe if you know something about it, put it in the comments and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Look what we got. Walked up on this bucket, which I don't think the bucket goes with all the stuff that's in here. But let me set this down. And we're gonna go through here. So what I think happened is this is, looks like a bunch of survival gear out here. Let's see what's all in here. Yeah, because that bucket is like some kind of chemicals or something. Well, y'all remember what I found? Uh, a whistle? Ooh. Y'all remember I found this uh, uh, life raft that washed up? Well, I think this is all the stuff that was inside of there. Look at this. This is bags of purified water. We got four bags. That's a lot of water. Um, and then we got these things, uh, few, sm life smoke, remove plastic cap, point away from body, pull tab, and throw it. Throw life smoke overboard. I'm not going to do this because like uh, that would set off alarms for, uh, you know, the Coast Guard would come. But there's two of them here. It makes sense that you would have that type of stuff. Now let's see what we have here. SOS emergency food rations. This feels like a, uh, like a brick, like concrete brick. I wonder what kind of food it is. Okay, each packet, fortified food bars, 2,400 calories. 
Okay, well, there's actually uh, three, four of the, oh look, somebody cut into this one. Looks like, uh, so let's, since somebody cut into this, You know I like to use my knife, right? I'm gonna do this one too. Let's see what we got here. Now this one, wow, interesting. What? Let's see what we got here. 2,400 calories. How many calories you eat a day? <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. I think um, this is definitely for survival only. <laughs> I'm trying to describe it's sweet, compact, sugary type. Uh, I can't tell if that's sand or that's what the bar is made out of. Interesting. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, this is it's written in uh, heliograph in chi China, something. But this, is, this would be a mirror inside of here. You all know how to use that? You got a mirror, a rope, and then a line. And then uh, like if a plane's going over, you can do, do this. And it'll, uh, it'll make it to where it'll flash and the plane will be able to see you and then call for help. Let's see if we can get a better. I don't know. It's kind of dark out here. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, battery. Don't mess with that battery. Uh, Anti-nausea medicine. There's still some in there. And then survival at sea instructions. Who, who doesn't need that? Table of life-saving signals. Oh. Okay. Seasickness bags. Uh, in case you get sick, want to vomit, I guess. Okay. Now, we tried some of the food. I would definitely say, you know, that's probably survival thing only. But I, I am interested to see what this water looks like. Okay. It's a one pack of water. Uh, directions for use. Drink minimum two bags per person per day. Avoid conditions which cause sweating or increased thirst. Okay. Discard bag if air or water escapes when squeezed. <clears throat> no. Make sure it's clear. Looks clear. Should I try this? Whoa. <coughs> okay, don't squeeze it. Maybe you just drink it. Yeah, I'd say that's like good pure water. Okay, the last thing here. Looks like we got a uh, radar reflectors. And it looks like it expands out. And I think I've seen these before, like on sailboats and stuff. <clears throat> you get, you, you put them together and then the air catches it and it spins and it makes these reflectors so it's, easy, it's easier to see from far away. Okay, well, wow. Um, well, thought that was interesting. I'm guessing somebody 
grabbed the bucket. Uh, maybe they were they were stuck in that life raft and they wanted to take all this stuff with them. Uh, I didn't see any footprints around it or anything, so I don't know. Um, I'll try to take this stuff back with me, but... Okay, thought y'all would be interested to see what... Uh, if you're stuck in the ocean or you're stuck out on a barrier island, like, you know, what is some survival stuff you'd take with you? Definitely need water, uh, some type of food, and a way to be able to communicate, whether it's a mirror or it's... You know, or it's these smoke bomb things. So, anyway, hopefully you learned something from this beach coming. We'll talk to you later. Bye.